Hey guys, welcome to another video. The internet was buzzing last week when a joke crafted by the rapper went viral, which led to an unexpected conversation between Jeff Bezos and Drake. Keep watching to see Drake and Jeff Bezos' unexpected interaction. Number 5. Unlikely Duo Drake and Jeff Bezos made an unusual team. It's not that improbable, really. We are discussing two very well-known and affluent celebrities after all. And although a Drake Bezos rap duet is unlikely to happen anytime soon, it's not impossible that their paths may meet. Their paths have already really crossed. According to a source, the rapper and founder of Amazon made a sizable investment in Overtime in 2021. Overtime is a sports media firm that offers paid kids basketball leagues, as well as unique sports content on social media. Number 4. Historical Snaps Drake, also known online as Champagne Poppy, shared two flashback images on July 6, along with the statement, Gotta start somewhere. Drake may be seen in the first image standing next to a door with the number 1503, and partly facing the camera. According to Complex, Drake's modest beginnings were in the same Toronto apartment since most of the tracking for his third mixtape. So Far Gone took place there with Noah Forty Shabib in apartment 1503 at 15 Fort York. 15 Fort Yorks, you know, Drake raps in his song, Know Yourself. Even more of a flashback is there in the second image. An outdated computer is installed on a messy table. An Amazon.com sign is scrawled on the wall, and a younger Bezos seems to be working. The scene is right out of the 1990s. How did people respond to this surprising Bezos and Drake Instagram post? Then Bezos himself joined in, jokingly writing underneath, Started from the bottom, now we're here, in reference to one of Drake's biggest hits, Started from the Bottom. Over 8,600 people liked Bezos' tweet, and Drake himself responded, Jeff is aware of the guy, therefore no one is allowed to talk to me today, in the comments Big Bezos. Drake replied with enthusiasm. There were 1.16 million likes on the post of early Thursday morning. Number 3. Drake's Wealth Drake's estimated net worth is of $250 million terms, from his seven-season stint as the adored Jimmy Brooks in the popular Canadian team drama Degrassi The Next Generation. His acting paychecks served as his mother's primary source of money throughout the early stages of his career, since she was ill and unable to work to support the two of them. With the release of Honestly Nevermind, his album that saw him change to a more dance-oriented style, Drake has plenty to be happy about lately. In its first week, his seventh studio album sold an incredible $204,000 equivalent album units, 11,000 of which came from record sales alone. The 14-track album, which came in behind recent releases from Bad Bunny, Kendrick Lamar, and Future, had the fourth largest streaming week in 2022, despite having a number one album and a song with the record's debut. He also saw the largest single week slide into the history of the Billboard Hot 100 with his song Tex Go Green. The song and Kendrick Lamar's We Cry Together, which peaked at number 16 and fell to number 97, shared the prize. Bezos, one of the wealthiest persons in the world, with an estimated net worth of $140.1 billion, too had a modest start. Bezos had the idea to start an online bookshop called Kadabra before Amazon grew to be a retail goliath. In Bezos' garage, Amazon was created and first operated. The two have lately made news once again, but this time the situation was considerably more laid back. Number 2. Fans Pitching In How about the fans? They undoubtedly wanted to participate in the Bezos Drake romance. Celebrities also show interest. The GOAT emoji, G-O-A-T, greatest of all time, used by actress Issa Rae as a reaction was a huge hit. While some followers were encouraged and inspired by the tweet, others made fun of Bezos' traditional workspace. I wonder whether Jeffrey was using those bright hotmail typefaces. I wonder whether Jeffrey was using those bright hotmail typefaces, a user said. Bezos surge protector game causing me great concern, remarked another. For Bezos' benefit, he ultimately received a significant boost. Number 1. Advice to young people. Before he started at Amazon, Jeff Bezos was already quite wealthy. It's true that he wasn't as wealthy as he is now, but he nonetheless had an ideal life. In New York City, Jeff Bezos had a position in the financial sector. Bezos Jeff, their directness is the major quality that distinguishes ESTs as successful business people. Twitter is not one of them, however. These are precious nuggets of knowledge from successful business people and entrepreneurs. Advice from Jeff Bezos for young entrepreneurs in this discussion with Amazon Prime Video India and Business Insider. 
One can always improve how Amazon always do better. One can always improve how Amazon pays attention to its customers. How Amazon always do better. Who may inform the company of any issues with its goods. Amazon, according to Jeff Bezos, was founded on a long-term marketing plan and a conviction to increase shareholder value. In addition, several of the billionaires today began from nothing. Here are 50 memorable one-liners from some of the most well-known business people in the world. Without further ado, Passion, Bezos Jeff. He informed the conference goers it's possible that a business concept you have without risk is already being executed. We've reached the conclusion of this video. Let us know what you think in the comments area below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Take care till the next video and good luck.